We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with MUL Land Stock, Molar Automotive Inc. Trying to fight and hold support here. And in the after hours, it broke through key levels of 30 cents and it hit new lows of 25 cents that we've seen in the last several days and weeks. Now, MUL Land Stock was not the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market in the SPY did as well. And on Friday, our spy bot at 9.35 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside, full strength there on 42 vision, and call options went up 300% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So we're gonna talk about some key levels here and a full transition on 42 vision from bright green bars to white with red borders on the dip area here. But before we do, we're gonna look at the home run opportunity that was mentioned on Friday morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 10, 10 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 150% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord, our 42 vision indicators. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MUL Land Stock, Mullen Automotive. And as I stated earlier in the video, doing a full transition from the rip area of bright green bars, as I call it here on 42 Vision, to a dip area here on 42 Vision of white with red borders. If it's your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 Vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bow and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with MULN stock under a bear indicator. Lots of volatility here in this zigzag for the last several days of the week, right? Starting off on January 11th towards the 13th. But this bear indicator after that big run here from around 31 cents to the highs here of 47, this bear indicator has been a huge resistance level and everything going on in between has been volatility and the inflows have gone rejected pretty quickly within these moves, right? And here we have it that the outflows crossed on Thursday. And even though that bull indicator was there, it got canceled by a bear indicator in the pre-market at around the same level of 39.40 cents, rejected off of that, broke through the support of 35 cents, even broke through 30 cents and hit lows here in the after hours of 25 cents. Now it's trying to stay above 30 cents here, at 31 cents but you could see that extreme weakness of outflows dominating in the second half of the day right around that 37 cent mark and the significance of that move from that moment forward right and we hit dip areas here on 42 vision i think it's going to be very pivotal to keep in mind that this has done a full transition on 30 minute but if we zoom into the volatility we could see here right that on the 15 minute outflows are dominating as well full transitions to dip areas have been hit on thursday it tried coming back up bear indicator there in the after hours at around 39 cents as well did a full transition and now there's a bull indicator here now this is a lot more volatile 
And what we need to watch here is could it hold itself up, pull itself up with inflows coming back towards the midpoint. It'll be even more significant if it could cross over. The last time it crossed over here was on the Thursday of January 12th. And it went from around 38 cents to the highs there of 40 cents within that volatile move. But in the previous times, inflows actually dominated and they stayed above. It went from 36 to highs here of 41 within that volatility. Now, here we are with a bull indicator on the 15 minute. And I think it's going to be crucial to watch, pay close attention to. And when we zoom out to the one hour, we could see that the outflows have been dominating all this time, even through the bull run from way down here on December 29th to the peak here on January 6th from around 20 cents to 48 cents. And now rejecting outflows have been dominating and what they've needed to do to go ahead and confirm some of the strength for the bulls in the bigger picture is even if these inflows did not cross the midpoint to start going towards the midpoint and it has not. It has been dominated by outflows putting weight over the chart and I broke that down in previous videos and we've done a full transition so far on the one hour from the rip area of bright green bars and even right here when it tried transitioning back down from red to bright green to now into a dip area here in Friday's after hours and this is critical to watch now some people are speculating we could see a dead cat bounce or some type of dip momentum move but it's going to be critical to watch these levels and i'm going to share with you guys what i would watch the first thing is the supports guys below 30 cents is 27 25 cent area and then comes the 20 cent area which is near the 52 week lows of 18 cents i think that is critical to watch to the downside how these outflows react do they turn from red to green and start picking up or do they go further down pulling away from the midpoint now to the upside the first resistance is 35 cents and then above that is 38 cents right around this consolidation that we had on friday and then back up towards that 39 40 cent area where this zigzag has happened and where those bear indicators popped up and where that first point of outflows started to dominate back on january 12th which was thursday of last week above 40 cents then comes 45 cents. And if the bulls are able to bring that strength into the chart and touch those resistance levels and reflect that strength with these inflows picking up and reflecting into the chart and canceling this bear indicator and getting a bull indicator in the process, we'll then start reanalyzing the charts at those newer levels. But right now, these are the key levels I'm watching of inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.